Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Uh, we have been in Topor for just over a week now. If you haven't already, head back and watch our last video, which was all about our first 24 hours on a New Zealand farm. It was a great video, great fun that we had up there. Come along with us as we show you the best things to do on a budget in Topor. We're starting off at Hooker Falls, one of the most powerful and awe-inspiring waterfalls in New Zealand. Over 220,000 litres of water per second surge through a narrow chasm, creating a thunderous roar that you can hear well before you see it. The water is a stunning shade of blue, tinted by the volcanic minerals that give it that unique colour. There are a few different ways to experience the falls. If walking isn't your thing, you can drive straight to the car park where it has direct access to all the different viewpoints. You can stand at one of the many viewing platforms and feel the mist on your face. Or, if you're up for it, you can take a jet boat ride that brings you up to the base of the falls. For a more relaxed experience, the walk along the Waikato River to the falls is a must-do. It's an easy 15-minute stroll through native bush with the sound of the river accompanying you the whole way. This is so cool! this a lot every time we go somewhere new I'm always like yeah that's now my favorite place that we've been to but I actually think this is now like it's epic and we've been we've seen some really nice waterfalls haven't we yeah. but they were smaller they'd be like going into like some little lagoon and some you know teeny tiny stream or small river this is the scale of this is just extraordinary it's like a force of nature, like how strong it is. Yeah. Like it's so loud, it moves so quickly. Next up are the Adatia Rapids, another spectacular spot just a short drive from Hooker Falls. The Adatia Rapids are controlled by a dam upstream, which opens its gates a few times a day. When the gates open, the once calm riverbed transforms into a raging torrent with water surging through at an incredible speed. The sight of the rapids come into life is truly dramatic and it's a must see if you're in the area. Not only are the rapids famous for their natural beauty, they were also featured in The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smau. Remember the scene where the dwarves escape in barrels down a river? A lot of that scene was filmed right here at Aratiatia Rapids. It's a great spot for fans of the movies and it's easy to imagine the thrill of the chase as you watch the water roar through the gorge. It's our first proper middle earth spot that we've actually gone to. The curve of the rapids down here is identifiable in the movie. This is incredible, like I'm, I'm nerding out right now. There are several viewpoints where you can watch the rapids in action, each offering a different perspective. It's best to time your visit around the dam's release schedule, which is posted on signs at the site and available online. The release lasts about 15 minutes, so you'll have plenty of time to take it all in. The rapids are a powerful reminder of the natural forces at work in this part of the world, and they're definitely worth the short drive from Topol. For something a bit more light-hearted, we're heading to the Topor Hole-in-One Challenge. This unique attraction is a floating golf pontoon anchored out in the middle of Lake Topor, 102 metres from the shoreline. This is a budget-friendly and unique activity that you can do with prices starting from $3 for one ball and going all the way up to $50 for 50 balls. We went for the $10 for five balls option. The challenge? To sink a golf ball in to the hole from the lakeshore. It might sound easy, but as you're about to see, Michael found it very, very challenging. If you do sink a hole in one, you get the grand prize of 10,000 New Zealand dollars. I can't play golf. I've never been able to play golf. I have shocking hand-eye coordination, but we're trying to show you things on a budget. You can get five balls for $10 and I'm gonna give it a fair go. No, we did not win $10,000. Michael can't hit a golf ball. Knees bent, butt out. 
Elbows in. <laughs> Nothing. The last winner was on the 26th of July. They won 10,000 New Zealand dollars. So it is possible. And there's also been 1,354 people that have won one of the prizes. So it's possible. This local icon is a great way to add a bit of fun to your visit. And who knows, you might just witness someone make that perfect shot. After all that excitement, it's time to relax and unwind at Spa Thermal Park. This park is the perfect oasis in the heart of Taipo and it's home to one of the area's best kept secrets, Otu Muheke Thermal Stream. This is a natural hot spring that flows into the Waikato River, creating a series of warm pools that are perfect for soaking in. The best part? It's completely free and open to the public. The park has been recently upgraded with some new facilities, including changing rooms, picnic areas, and even a cafe. The stream itself is beautifully maintained with steps leading down into the water and plenty of spots to sit and soak. When we went though, however, it was more lukewarm than hot springs, but it's still a really beautiful place to go and hang out and chill by the water. It's just so serene and beautiful. This spot is really popular with the locals and visitors, and it's really easy to see why. Spa Thermal Park is the perfect place to stop and unwind after a day adventure, or if you just want to enjoy a peaceful moment in nature. I know this looks like any other McDonald's, however, there is something special about it. But first, we have to order our food. Okay, now that we have our food, we get to go to the awesome part. This isn't just any McDonald's, it's home to a vintage DC-3 airplane. The plane is parked right outside the restaurant and you can actually dine inside it. It's a quirky and fun experience that's perfect for families or anyone who loves a bit of retro charm. The DC-3 is a piece of aviation history and it's been fully restored to its former glory. The interior has been converted into a dining area, complete with original seats and vintage decor. It's a great place to grab a quick bite or just take some fun photos. And if you're an aviation enthusiast, you'll appreciate the attention to detail and the opportunity to sit inside a classic aircraft. This McDonald's was voted the world's coolest McDonald's and you can definitely see why. It's one of those unique attractions that you won't find anywhere else and it adds a bit of whimsy to your visit to Topor. So whether you're stopping by for a meal or just to check out the plane, it's definitely worth a visit. Thank you so much for watching guys and please leave any recommendations you may have in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like, subscribe and turn on those notifications because we're here for you every, every Monday. Monday.